Since ancient times, the Japanese have believed that a life force resides in all creations. Valuing and caring for the things we use, a zero-waste life. Pointing the way to better living for a new era. Nagasaki's Goto Archipelago in western Japan is made up of some 140 islands. A quiet paradise with abundant nature and townscapes straight out of the past. The beautiful waters that surround it are some of Japan's best fishing grounds and each morning, this market is filled with the day's catch. At the auction, fish are sold in a flash. Some lots go for hundreds of US dollars. But there are some fish that go almost completely ignored. For example, species like the brassy chub, considered pests that have ravaged local waters. Areas all over Japan have seen declining catches due to loss of the seaweed habitats where the fish live and spawn. One cause is so-called pest fish that overconsume the seaweed. Even when caught to reduce their numbers, they're seen as a nuisance due to a strong odour. And they often sell at astonishingly low prices. Kanazawa Ryuji is a veteran fish trader who's been in the business for 40 years. As well as the more popular offerings, he actively purchases unwanted pest fish. His shop offers a variety of such fish. But Kanazawa has come up with a use for these hard to handle fish. A sauce extracted from salt pickled fish. Packed with umami, 
When used as seasoning, it adds richness and a distinctive flavour. Alongside his work as a fishmonger, Kanazawa produces this fish sauce. Fish are processed and cleaned to prepare them for grinding. Kanazawa strives to avoid waste, and aside from the scales and internal organs, everything else is used. Salt water and koji mould to encourage fermentation are added and the mix is blended into a paste-like mash from which the fish sauce will be extracted. But there's a twist a special ingredient found here on the island. Growing nearly everywhere you look, the Goto archipelago is also known as the Camellia Islands. Kanazawa uses the yeast harvested from these plants to help eliminate the unpleasant odor of seaweed consuming fish. After processing, the mixture is left to ferment in a temperature-controlled room for around 30 days. Each day, the mash is carefully stirred, barrel by barrel, to prevent the growth of harmful bacteria that can cause spoilage. After fermentation, the mixture is placed in bags to extract the liquid fish sauce. Sauce made from a variety of fish is blended to adjust the flavour profile. As well as pests, more popular fish that were either too small or too damaged to sell are also used. Filled with love for all fish, the sauce is now done.
食べれない魚はないんよね。目線を変えたらちょっと手を入れることによって美味しくいただける処分するとかそういう発想じゃなくて生かしていくやっぱり生かしていくことによってその魚たちが、まあ、生きてくるんじゃないかなとは思って。Kanazawa's fish sauce can be used in all kinds of dishes. A popular soba shop on the island uses it as the secret ingredient in their soup. The fruity is very good, but soba is very good. なお美味しくなって倍以上の相乗効果があったと思ってうんうん美味しいうん魚醤の変な臭みとかない、うん、美味しいギュッとねっぽいよかよかそのまんまやかいパイナップルを入れていこうかね。今日、カナザワは今日、カナザワは今日、カナザワは今日、カナザワは今日、カナザワは今日、カナザワは Providing plenty of nutrition, it seems it also improves the quality of the meat. こっちはね、産業廃棄物にして捨てなくて済むし、向こうは向こうでそうやって餌代が少し、何パーセントでも十パーセントでもあの安くなる。うん、で、スポも美味しいって言ってくれ。<笑>なんか言ってるみたいなんだけど。<笑>金沢は、ゴトーズ・ビューティフォー・シーズ・アンド・フィッシュ・ディヴィンダム。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。こんにちは。その変化をスローダウンしたいねっていう思いでそういうチャレンジをしてます。カナザワ also wants to show the children the appeal of pest fish. He's provided sashimi, prepared to remove any unpleasant odor, along with his signature fish sauce. どんどん回さない。美味しい。グー。よかったね。美味しい。今日一番の笑顔の笑みや。美味しい。やっと。やっと食べる。食べたやつや。いいよ。あ、美味しい。四枚で。よし。魚も分からんと思う。え、みんな美味しかったです。全然違う。いつも食べてるのは濃くてあんま魚の味しなかったけど、なんか。今回のちょっと薄くて、魚の味が結構したから、魚本来の味が染み出てきていた。美味しかった。いろんな人が。あの海藻を食い荒ら、食い荒らすから。厄介者。ね。食害魚とか言ってるんだけど。それを。私はもう、ぜひ。宝物にしたいなっていう思いで。今いろいろ。取り組んでます。